Hi, uh, I'm here with uh, Doug Hill from Tink Translift. We've got a 2013 Translift uh, unit here. Doug, tell us a little bit about your unit. All right, thanks guys. Uh, the Translift, we've been out since 1984. We're the leader in the industry for moving and setting and placing homes on the location. This is our newest design in the 2013 model. We've made a few feature change over the years. Most guys are familiar, but we did a lot of upgrades, which has made it maintenance free a lot more, which is very cost effective for the, for the owner. And uh, a lot of safety changes and some things we've increased in power. We've added an emergency shut off button and we went to some direct linkage and things that makes it more user friendly. So we generally can provide a translift to a location within one or two day notice. Wow. And like I say, the big advantage is guys is it's, it's the safety factor, no longer damaging homes. The manufacturer loves it. The retailers really love it. It cuts down on the service complaints that their customers has later of fix it items. But mainly for the installer, like I say, it cuts his labor cost in half and actually increases his profits, both by about 50% in each direction. Wow. So it literally pays for itself in a few months. Does the user kind of uh, operate back there? Yep, it's all user friendly. It's all one thing. It's just basically front and back, up and down. You can handle up to 60, over 60 plus thousand homes. Wow. So it's been a fantastic thing. But like I say, it's just it's changed the industry. Uh, people no longer get hurt. It's just safe. It's fast. You've eliminated jacks and rollers. So, and we do free demos. So you can contact me at any time, and we'll arrange to bring a machine out and let you and your folks actually use it for a few days on homes. No obligation. You know, we've always done a buyback guarantee. If you buy one, wish you hadn't bought it. We'll come pick it up, give you money back 100%. Doug, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the time. Appreciate the interview. Yep, thank you. Sean Cravens with Granger Plastics out of Middletown, Ohio. And we are here at the 2013 Louisville Manufactured Housing Show displaying our underground tornado shelter, the Granger ISS. It's a underground tornado shelter, um, double wall part. Uh, exceeds FEMA 320, 361 standards. Um, exceeds FEMA standards for six adults. Um, been in the business of making tornado shelters uh, for over 18 years now. Have one of the only plastic units with a lifetime warranty, guarantee not to crack, leak, float, rust, rot, mil mold or mildew. Comes with articulating handrails, uh, triple layer composite door. Uh, we offer the door in custom color upgrades to match your backyards or your flowers or patio or maybe your favorite team colors or your former school. Unit, like I said before, comes with a lifetime warranty. So. 10,000 years from now, because it's plastic, this baby's gonna be there and ready for you to take refuge. All right, and thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the show. I'm here with James Barnett from ABT. What exactly are you guys do? We do anything that has anything to do with the manufactured housing community water system. We treat water, we put in water meters, we read and build water meters, we get involved with anything that has to do with the water system to make it run to its optimal. Now, is this something commonly used with most manufactured homes? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, basically, the, the water system is required by law, and so the owner of the community has an obligation to provide his residents with safe, clean water. Whether he buys that from the city or he puts a hole in the ground and pumps it out, it has to meet legal specifications. Once that water goes into the distribution system, the owner has a responsibility to make sure that his residents are paying for what their actual use is. Now he can include his water and sewer in as part of his rent, but in many cases he will lose money in the process. If he builds a residence for their actual usage, there's a conservation thing that takes place somewhere between 30 and 50 percent in most cases. So to operate his system at the maximum or the optimum, treats the water, gives the resident good water, meters the water, lets the resident pay for their actual usage. James, do you have anything here you can show us? Well, I can show you a, a meter and, and some ideas on how to handle that. Perfect. This is one of the most common meters used in the United States. It's called Neptune. And it's uh, an ECR meter, it means it's a, uh, a computer red meter. There's a computer chip in here. So the one reading possible is what's on those wheels. If we hook that up to a radio, we 
mean, that mirror reads itself every day. Nobody ever has to go out and touch it, look at it, or anything else. It reads itself. Right. When we do that, we spot problems in the community the day after they happen. So we get leaky toilets going through a thousand gallons of water a day. We know about it the next day. Instead of the resident getting a $300 bill, he gets a warning and says, "Hey, you got a problem? Fix it." <laughs> They're happy because we saved the money. President's happy, and the owner actually gets paid for what the water used. Yes. So you're not only looking out for the consumer, you're looking out for the park owners too with this. Oh, absolutely, problem. absolutely. Park owner is our primary customer. Beautiful. Thank you very much for your time, James, and uh, we look forward to helping you out in the future with manufacturing oh, homes.com. We'll